president was studying abroad, so she asked me if I wanted to be president, and I took it and ran with it. So started out small, and we're still fairly small of a team. Of course, there's a lot of people on the team who know Quidditch from Harry Potter, of course, so there are a lot of fans on the team. It's a full contact sport, just like rugby or anything like that. Multiple genders, unlike most sports. So girls, guys, anyone can play on the team. We have a stitch runner, so we don't have obviously a flying ball or anything like that. It's a tennis ball in a sock tucked into the waistband of a runner. That's usually an unbiased person in biology, so there are different clubs like that, but I wanted something more extracurricular to do and I found the team on the RSO website but there was nothing for it so I decided to make my own. If she hadn't been there this year we would probably wouldn't have a team right now. She's the backbone of the team. She, keep, she makes everyone organized and keeps everyone tied together. I describe it as like lacrosse and soccer and rugby all rolled into one. It's a very competitive, high octane sport. It's strong and it's tough, but it's rewarding and fun. We try to have as much fun as possible. We're not going to work our players to death. We still want them to enjoy themselves. I like it because it's unique and it gives me something to say that I play Quidditch and I have fun at it. I guess the dream of like every Quidditch team is to get into the World Cup. Right now it's usually having fun trying to keep everyone together because the more we play together the more likely people are going to come back. 